The driver of the bus that rammed into a truck at Matthew on Wednesday, killing 14 people, has surrendered to the authorities. Reports reaching our news desk indicate that the driver presented himself to police and will be arraigned in court on Thursday. Following the tragic crash, the driver escaped from the scene where 27 others were left with serious injuries. In the morning accident, the bus was traveling from Mandra heading to Nairobi when it rammed into a lorry parked by the road. The stationary truck, which the bus hit, was transporting raw gypsum from Garissa. It had been parked by the road after it developed mechanical problems. The bus driver appeared to have slightly veered off his lane, as if he was overtaking but ended up hitting the lorry. A survivor of the crash, Abdul Rashid Mohammed recalled that the driver had been overspeeding and ignored complaints from the passengers. We kept complaining to the driver about loud music and speeding, but he turned a deaf ear, he told reporters. In a presser, Mandra Governor Ali Robo revealed that one of his bodyguards succumbed to the crash. Noting that the majority of the passengers were from his county, Robo pledged to assist the families of those killed and injured in the accident. He stated that KSH 3 million would be taken from the county disaster fund to support families and the other half would settle.